Hello, George Romanich here. We are continuing with exploring Coriolis force, problem number two. Hopefully you can see it now on your screens. So we will solve in this video part A and then in a separate video I'll do part B so that the video is not very long. So A is using equations. Now before we use any equations we have to know something. First of all we will use these two equations because these are the equations that can be used to demonstrate that the acceleration in the northern hemisphere is to the right in respect to the mo uh, motion and in the southern hemisphere is to the left. But we have to define something. First, we have to define that positive u, and that is zonal component of the wind, is eastward. So if the parcel of air is moving towards the east, we say it has positive u component. If it is moving towards the west, we say it has negative u component. Positive V, meridional component, is northward. Which means if the parcel of air is moving towards the south, we say it has negative V. If it is moving towards the north, it has positive V component of the wind. And total wind is Ui plus Vj where i and j are the unit vectors in the Cartesian coordinates, of course, I have videos covering all that, even Cartesian coordinate system. So these are some uh, co concepts that we need to know. Now, knowing that, if we go to part A, and we use, first of all, let's use this equation. du dt due to Coriolis is equal fv. Now, in my previous video, we saw that for the northern hemisphere, f is a positive number. If I now assume that v is positive number, that means parcel of air is moving towards the north, then f times v is positive number, which means this acceleration du dt is also positive number. But this being positive means that the parcel of air is accelerated towards the east, and east is to the right of north that we originally had as our motion. So this demonstrates that the deflection is to the right. Now, let's look at the southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere has f that is negative. I demonstrated that in my previous video. And now if I take v that is also positive, that means northward motion in the southern hemisphere. What is du dt going to be? Well, this is negative, this is positive. That means this product is negative. So this is a negative quantity, but negative acceleration in the zonal direction means that the parcel of air is accelerating towards the west. And that's to the left of the original motion. Let me demonstrate that now quickly with vectors. In this part, original motion of air was towards the north, V positive. Okay, from south to north, parcel of air is traveling. Acceleration caused by Coriolis force is positive, and positive u means eastward, which means the parcel of air will be, deflect, will be deflected like so, and you can clearly see that the deflection is to the right of the original motion. In the southern hemisphere, where f is negative, we again have positive v, so V is the same, 
but because f is negative, acceleration is negative, and negative u is in the westward direction because positive is in the eastward, which means deflection will be like so. And this is simple demonstration that Coriolis force deflects motion to the left in the southern hemisphere, to the right in the northern hemisphere, using equations. Of course, I will do just uh, one more exercise using the V component of the equation. We see that dV dt is equal negative Fu. So again, if we are in the northern hemisphere, F is positive. Let's assume that U is positive. That means that dV dt is, this is positive, this is positive, the product is positive, but because of this minus, it will become negative. And uh, we can clearly see this is deflection to the right. Why? Because u positive, that means parcel of air is originally moving towards the east, positive u. Deflection is in the southern direction because positive v is towards the north. So deflection will be like so. And to me, this looks like to the right of the original motion. Lastly, let's use southern hemisphere. F is negative over southern hemisphere. Now let's just switch things to mix a little bit. Let's say that U is negative. What will be acceleration in this time? This time, dV dt will be, this is negative and this is negative, which means product will be positive, but because of this negative, it will again be negative. So U is negative originally. That means parcel of air is moving towards the west because positive U is towards the east. And dV dt is negative. Well, negative is towards the south when it comes to meridional component. And again, you can see that in the southern hemisphere, deflection is to the left. And we demonstrated that using our equations. Just one quick trick that I also tell my students. When you write these two equations in Navier's, uh, when, sorry, when you write these two terms in Navier-Stokes equations, sometimes people have difficulty remembering is minus here or should minus be here? Well, you can just re remember this concept that Coriolis force deviates motion to the right in northern hemisphere. So if you have V that is to, towards the north, this will be deviated towards the east, and that's positive u, so everything is fine. Whereas here, if you are in the northern hemisphere, u is positive, deflection will be to the right, which is south, and south is negative v, so you have to put negative over here. I hope you understood what I said, but that's how I remember this thing. In the next video, we will demonstrate this concept, but using a schematic of spherical earth.